What's up guys, uh, today's uh, Adobe Wizard tutorial will be making curtains. Um, I've actually made a wallpaper with a curtain, uh, uh, and if you guys want to check that out, you can check out my DeviantArt uh, at uh, MacintoshFreak.DeviantArt.com. The link will be in the sidebar. So yeah. Uh, first off, open a default widescreen wallpaper or any kind of dimension that you want, that you're comfortable with. Uh, in my case, it's 19, 1920 by 1200. Now, remember to have a black, uh, black and white foreground and uh, background. And if uh, and if you click on this, uh, it would have default foreground and background colors, which would create black and white. Now, fill it, fill your canvas with black, um, dark black, and then go to filter. Remember to select your layer, by the way. Go to filter, render fibers and remember to have the variance of 16 and the strength of 4 hit ok and you'll have this fiber look after that go to filters again artistic um, plastic wrap Just leave it as it is and click ok now you have this nice highlight uh, on your canvas now after that go to blur uh, motion blur in your filters and remember to have it uh, have the thing at 90 degrees for your angle and you shouldn't have uh, the distance too much or else it's not going to look too good uh, so I'll just have about this just roughly and if you want to make it more realistic and have a better tone and color just go to your image uh, I believe uh, or if you're on a Mac just command L for levels Oops. Sorry. Uh, I'll do that later, actually. Well, you don't really have to do that. It will just look better. Now, double-click your layer to open your layer star palette. Excuse me. And um, go to your gradient overlay. And if you click that, it's going to overlay the whole thing. So go to your blend mode and go to hard light. And double-click gradient or just click it and take the white part if it's black and white default take the white part double click on it and make it red now for your style use it use a radial and if you have the black and the red hit reverse so you would have this nice gradient uh, spotlight look. you've actually already created a curtain um, and if you guys want to add some more details, you can do that on your own. But uh, this is just a nice uh, curtain background that you can make. Uh, for instance, if you want, you can make a new text in the middle and have it as a background during the video. So youtube.com slash adobe wizards. I don't know, it's just a very nice uh, look. And it would look pretty good on your desktop and your background. So that was just a really quick uh, tutorial. Hopefully that was quick. <laughs> and uh, if you guys don't want this uh, spotlight look, you can just turn off the gradient, go to your color overlay, and then click overlay. Or soft hard light. Oh wait, no, that doesn't work. But um, it, it won't do too good. But uh, yeah. Just uh, play around with it in your blend mode. And you'll, if you find the right one, uh, it would look very good. But I prefer having the gradient overlay with the spotlight look. And so, yeah, it would look pretty good. And you can also drag this around, the spotlight or the gradient around. So you can have it focused right here. Uh, this is how I made my wallpaper. I made it focused around the right side. And what I did was, um, uh, let's see. Let's go to edit, transform, oh, sorry transform and then warp and then you can drag this like this so it looks like a curtains open and I just had a like a space background ish thing I had a black background some noise and stuff like that it was it was a pretty simple background but it looked very uh, nice so that was just a quick um, curtain tutorial that you guys can make and hope you guys uh, hope that helped you, and thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Thanks.